frogs so happy? Because they eat whatever bugs them. what we know so far. The brain is covered in neurons, a hundred billion of them to be precise. The more they work together, the smarter you become. When we become stressed and anxious, the prefrontal cortex stops functioning and our neurons stop working together and that's not good. This can happen when we focus too much on being perfect. Do you remember Penelope Perfect from our story last week? So if we're not trying to be perfect, then how do we make progress? Progress comes when we struggle. When we find things difficult, that's when our neurons are really joining together to make us smarter. On our learning journey, we must remember to look back at how far we've come, as Raymond discovers in our story today, on his journey towards becoming an artist. Ish by Peter Reynolds Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? he asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her bedroom. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favourites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish. Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energised. Thinking ishly allowed his eye loose lines quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. 
he filled his notebooks. Tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish and sun-ish. Raymond realised he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were very poem-ish. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savoured it. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. The end ish. Raymond put lots of pressure on himself to get his drawings just right. He also allowed his brother's negative opinion to add to the pressure that he felt. It's important to be kind to yourself, to speak kindly to yourself. We call that positive self-talk. It's important to be kind to others. We must never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Remember, a little bit of progress each day adds up to big progress. Today, Monday the 18th of January, people all over America are celebrating Martin Luther King Day. They're honouring and celebrating Dr. King because of his leadership in terms of civil rights movements in the US. This is one of his quotes. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The pause for thought. Don't forget to remember where you started, how you have moved forward and where you are now.